Look at your neighbor, tell him, I can see you shining. In the name of the Lord. Amen. The title of my message is How to Overcome the World Like Jesus. How to Overcome the World Like Jesus. How to Conquer the World Like Jesus. How to Defeat the Problem of the World Like Jesus. Amen. Jesus conquered the world. His mathematic was completely funny. He went through prayer. He prayed three times that the cup will be taken away. Yet, he concluded by saying, you will be done. Little did the devil know they were pushing Jesus at the right hand of God the Father. The God of this world did not know that by killing Jesus, they are putting him in a better place. Sometimes you go through challenges and you keep crying and cry, but yet God is preparing you to sit you in the correct place. Say this with me. You, my challenges, I overcome you. Just the way Jesus overcome the world. How to overcome the world like Jesus? I believe every wise man will ask this question. Who is in the world? Somebody say Satan. He's in the world. And the Bible even call him the God of this world, you know? Some people think that is a great honor they gave the devil. No, we are mocking him. Who is in the world? Somebody say Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Ah, <laughs> you will say that Pharaoh of the Old Testament, they are always Pharaoh from one life to another. How to conquer the world like Jesus? Who is in the world? Somebody say Herod. Hmm. Herod is in the world. Pharaoh is in the world. Goliath is in the world. Amalek, they don't want to see you getting a breakthrough. The moment you have a breakthrough, they will come with another attack. How to conquer all those forces? What I learned from Jesus. He never came and dropped the problem and disappeared. No. Jesus came as a problem solver. He came to show us the way. Because Jesus conquered the world, you also, you will conquer the world. But listen to the word Jesus is saying. What did he say from the book of John 16 verse 33? Parent, discipline your children, otherwise I will discipline you. So, if you fail to discipline your children in the house of God, and that is the most critical place, by the way, here is about the Spirit of God. You are just showing me the character of your house, what is in your house. That is what we are witnessing now inside the church. Let there be peace in your house in Jesus' name. Amen. Let there be peace in your house in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Next time we hear the shout of the children, you take them in uh, Mount Camel or Gate of Heaven. Because what we are dealing with now is more than anything men can, can give you in the land of the living. We want to solve a serious problem and we cannot negotiate when we are solving this problem. Let somebody say amen. amen. John chapter 16, verse 33. 
Jesus said, in me, you will have peace. In this world, you will have what? Trouble. These are the very words of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The king of peace is pointing himself as a peacemaker and is telling you that, look, my father in heaven sent me in the land of the living to come and solve this problem, this trouble. In this world, you will have trouble. If you connect yourself with the system of the world, there will be always trouble for you. But the moment you connect yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will experience great peace. And peace is priceless. There is no amount of money that you can use to buy peace. Hallelujah. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I've overcome the world. Every wise man will ask this question. Lord, show me how to overcome the world. You see the trouble that is in the world. They use this vaccine. Hey, it's not this vaccine. They use this pill. Hey, it's not this pill. Hey, they don't know. Everybody's stuck. But there is a problem solver. Anytime you are going from one trouble to another, Ask this very simple question. Show me, Lord, how to overcome this problem. Show me how to overcome this problem. I don't know. God's spirit has no respect of people. He can use anybody, anytime, anywhere. You will stand up on your feet. And raise your voice and pray like this. Father, show me how to solve the problem in this world. Elohim Adonai Eshadai. Show me how to overcome the problem of the world. Go ahead, pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Show me, O Lord, how to overcome the problem of this world. Show me, Lord, how to overcome the problem that is in my house. Show me how to overcome the problem in my nation. Show me, oh Lord, how to overcome the problem that is in my company. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please, you may sit down. Listen to me carefully. It will not take you a lot of time to get the answer. While you are sitting there, God will flash and show you how to solve the problem. Hmm. I love Moses. People came. There is no water to drink. There is no water to drink. Moses, there is no water to drink. And they get into Mara. The water was bitter. The water is there, but it's wrong water. Bitter. Moses cried to God, Father, show me what to do. These people are thirsty. God opened the eyes of Moses. He said to him, you see that piece of wood? Take it. Put it in the water. The water will become sweet. Uh, everybody will drink. The same water that was bitter. He said to me, I believe in the God of signs and wonders. I believe in miracle. I believe, I, believe. I believe in Jesus. Hmm. Tomorrow your salary will increase. Yeah. It's like a joke. <laughs> Tomorrow your salary will increase. Yeah. What have I done for my salary to increase? Nothing. God in heaven pointed out. Amen. The Lord confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messenger. You will never live in poverty again. Amen. Say, are you sure? <laughs> Ask my wife, the day they blessed me with a shop, 
Um, somebody just came and said, you see this shop? I said, yes, sir. I said, from today, this shop is yours. Ah, what have I done to deserve this shop? I'm a security guard. Leave me alone. I don't want trouble. <laughs> he said, take the keys. This is your staff. My wife came and said, Madam, you see this shop? I said, yes, it's ours now. Uh, stop those games. You are like a little child. When you see a car passing, that's my car. <laughs> now you want to tell me this is your shop? <laughs> I said, by the way, the MD, do you know MD? Manager director of the shop is you from today. Somebody, you are getting your breakthrough now. You will not see 2022 empty handed. Something good will happen to you in Jesus' name. That day, I did not raise my voice to pray. I did not pray any prayer as somebody blessed me. We've prayed a lot. And God is answering all your prayer now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's why when we take some grace to pray, pray well. If God show you how to overcome the problem of the world, you may be the problem solver of the fourth wind of COVID-19. You don't need to be a medical doctor. God will just show you, say, my son, my daughter. Anyway, let me go back to my son because nobody's saying amen. My son. Oh. Ah, <laughs> my daughter. You see this problem of the wave of fourth wave of COVID-19. This is what you need to do. Go cook cabbage. <laughs> Feed as many people. <laughs> the fourth wind of COVID-19 will disappear. If it's like that, that that's all. Nobody knows the piece of wood that Moses used to cast in the water. If people knew, every one of us, even me, up until today, we will go, say, let us use that tree, you know, that mango tree. If we put there, the, the problem will disappear. Only Moses knew. But I know that anytime God speaks about the rod, the stick, is speaking about his word. Speak the word to that situation. How to overcome the world like Jesus. You cannot just overcome the world, the problem of the world without listening to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The man who say, with me you will have peace, in this world you will have trouble. Go to the man that is calling you for peace. Jesus said from the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come to me. All you are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. Few people speak like Jesus in the Bible. Moses said, follow me. Elijah said, let go to Mount Carmel. Follow me. Jesus came and said, come to me. Everybody ran away from problems. From today, you will not be running away from problem. Amen. You will behave like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, my God. Come to me. All you are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. I will give you what? Mm. Before you get that rest, he says, verse 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. This is where everybody has failed. Learning path. You must learn how to speak. You must learn how to conduct your business. You must learn how to deal with daily situations. Learning on the feet of Jesus Christ will make you greater than anybody else in the land of the living. Amen. Come.
come to me. All you are weary and burdened, I will give you rest. Learn from me. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me. Uh, for I'm gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You want to solve the problem of the world? You want to overcome the problem of the world? Learn from the feet of Jesus. Don't reject the word of the Lord. And I've discovered that everyone born of God overcome the world. Everyone born of God overcome the world. First John chapter 5 verse 4. First John chapter 5 verse 5. Who is that to overcome the world? Who can defeat the world? Only the one who believed that Jesus is the Son of God. Raise your right hand and say this to me, I'm qualified to overcome the world. Because I believe in Jesus. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. If you believe that says seven times with authority and power, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the Son of God. Jesus Christ is 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 the Son of God. Jesus Christ is. Just by saying Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you overcome the world. Because now you are connected to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Not everybody is qualified to overcome the problem that is in the world. Listen to this. In the book of John, chapter 1, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the power to become sons of God, King James. He gave the power to become sons of God. Sons born not of the natural descent, not of human decision or a husband will, but born of God. You need to be born again. Dr. Nico came to Jesus in the night. He said, how can you be born again? That one is too hard. He said, no, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. I'm talking about the spiritual side. You need to be born of God. You must be born again to overcome the problem of the world. Some people up until now, they are not yet born again. How do you know this? The way they speak, you will know that this is not the language of the children of God. People that have received power from God cannot speak the way you are speaking. So your language already tells me that you are not born again. Every born again is a peacemaker. Every troublemaker, the person that has made up his mind to disorganize every organization, he is not a child of God. Hallelujah. Confess and receive Jesus, the Son of God. Confess and receive Jesus, the Son of God. Believe in his name. You will have power to overcome the world. Everyone born of God defeat the problem of the world. Everyone born of God conquer the problem of the world. Jesus overcome the world. What must I do to defeat the problem of the world? Think and act like Jesus. The first thing I say, to conquer the things of the world, learn from the feet of Jesus, number one. Learn from the feet of Jesus. Number two, think and act like Jesus to overcome the world. Always think and act like Jesus to overcome the world. 
Check the attitude of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He was very humble. That humility did not make him stupid. He was the wisest man among the wise. He even challenged the wisdom of Solomon. He said the one that is better than Solomon is here. But look at his attitude. Very humble. Very humble. Your humility doesn't mean that you are stupid. No. You know the bottom of the story. You know the fullness of the story. You have the blueprint of what you are doing. You see, whether you like it or not, there is a way people think almost to every community, to every nation. There are ways people think. And that is their mindset. You cannot change it. But with the word of God, you can penetrate anywhere, anytime, and change the situation there. I thought you would say amen loud and clear. Amen. Let me say amen loud and clear. Amen. <laughs> there are places where you go, they give them instruction. Have an AP face all the time. AP what? AP face. Even if your husband beat you in the night. When you come in front of you, hey, 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 hey. Happy face. You are faking, but it's real. You are happy face. There are people where, where you go, hmm, hmm, who's this? Let us eat him now, finish him now, kill him now. I will show you those places and how to handle the situation of those places. By the wisdom of God, you can conquer anybody, anywhere. I thought you say amen loud and clear. Amen. Oh, which church are you coming from? I'm coming from uh, Zamazama Church. Ah. Which church are you coming from? No, today I went to Zeke Zeke Church. Ah. Where are you coming from? There are thousands of churches. And most of the church determine the course of our life. If you know them, you will be able to conquer what is going on there. How do we call them? Churches, but what is in the church? The problem is not church. The problem is what is inside the church. Praise the Lord. Say this with me. The church you are talking about is me. Mm. If you allow Jesus to build his church, not to destroy his church. The Bible says, Jesus said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. That church is you, is me. I must see the way I need to conduct myself. Then I will be a good church. Otherwise, I will have those kind of quality of churches I want to talk about. Because I want to solve the problem in the world. People listen to their pastors and they like to do what the pastor is doing. But yet, if those things are coming from the lips of the pastor, deception. But if it's coming from the heart of the pastor, people will experience the fullness of joy of the Lord in that place. I thought you say amen loud and clear. <laughs> Up until now, I've been started. I was just laying a foundation. Let me tell you something. The first church you need to know is that church that was full of love and then suddenly the church become loveless. Now, how do you overcome in the loveless church? How do you overcome in the loveless church? In the church where there is no love. How do you overcome in the company where people dislike you? Everybody, nobody pay attention. Nobody is ready to listen to your good stuff. They, like, they dislike you. How do you overcome 
in the loveless family. You believe and belong to this family. But in your start family, things are going wrong. How do you overcome? Number one. My Bible says from the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. He who has ears, let them hear what the Spirit say to the churches. The first thing I need to do, I will not ask a lot of questions. Why these people don't like me? I will go to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, I want to hear what you are saying concerning these people, concerning my family, concerning my church, concerning my office, concerning my company. Holy Spirit, talk to me. Jesus is not a deceiver. He pointed us to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit speaks every day, every time. Even right where you are, the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit, I want to hear. I have ears, but I'm not hearing. Open my ears. I want to hear what you are saying concerning my life in this company, in this church. Because many of us are fitting where we are not fitting. You force yourself to fit there, but yet the seat is too small for you, or the seat is too big for you. He who have an ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. I want to hear what the Spirit of God is saying for this altar. Praise the Lord. I want to hear what the Spirit of God is saying for the year 2022. Not only the year 2022. From sunrise to sunset of the year 2022. Every day, 24-7. You will see somebody always in the altar of prayer, praying, 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 praying. <laughs> Not everybody is praying, God, give me, give me, give me. No, God, show me what to do. People in the leadership, people in the front line, you take a lot of decision. Always depend completely to the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit, show me what to do. Show me what to do. I'm still hearing these voices. By that time, I still remember having my security uniform with bulletproof vest, so I was like this. And then I heard a voice say, Pastor Shiko. I said, no, that's a wrong voice. Devil, I rebuke you. Look at me, I'm a security, can't you see? Even uniform, and I'm inside the church. I heard again, Pastor Shiko. I said, hey, keep quiet, please. <laughs> Where are you today? Hmm? Where are you today? As a result of what I had. You are here because of what you had. If you did not hear anything good about the gospel, what, why will you be coming here? There is no need. The first thing you need to do, anytime they say, the crisis, the wave, the fourth wave of COVID-19 will kill people like no one business. You are living. Yeah. It will not touch your body. Yeah. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You have the mark of Jesus Christ on you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's just a wind. Say, ah, it will kill. Not me. It will pass by. In the name of Jesus. If it check my body, maybe. But because I can see anytime the wind is blowing, even the leaf of the tree will be shaking. Are you with me? Ah, that doesn't mean that the tree will fall. You are living long life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the church where there is no love to overcome in this church. I don't need another mathematic. I just need to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. 
Number two, there is a way a man speak where there is full of hatred. What cause hatred is the way people behave. People will not behave that way unless they speak, they say something. Now, when you are in the loveless church, loveless family, loveless company, speak the word of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walk among the seven golden lampstands. Speak the word of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand. How many stars? Mm, let me tell you the name of the star. Star number one. Star of wisdom, star of knowledge, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and power, the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Speak the word of him who hold the seven stars in his right hand, who walk among the seven golden lampstands. He's not walking in darkness. Speak the word of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He's full of wisdom. Is full of knowledge. Those who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Hallelujah. <laughs> Speak the word of him who fear God. It's not because they dislike you, you begin to speak your own things. You begin to do your own way. No. Speak the word of him who hold the seven stars in his right hand and who walk among the seven golden lampstands. Raise your voice, say this with me. Stand up on your feet, say this with me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whenever I find myself in the loveless church, whenever I find myself in the loveless family, help me to speak the word of him. Who hold the seven stars in his right hand. Who walk among the seven golden lampstand. Spirit of the Lord. Move me. Spirit of wisdom and understanding. Spirit of counsel and power. Spirit of knowledge. And the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Thank you. You may sit down. Now, let me tell you this. Joseph had nobody to speak for him. But somebody remember Joseph. When he went to the king, he said, I know a man that can tell you the dream you had. What pushed Joseph in front of Pharaoh, number one, was the spirit of wisdom. Because Joseph displayed the wisdom of God in the house of Potiphar, in prison, and he pushed Pharaoh to say, look for a man that have a discerning spirit. If you listen to the word of Pharaoh, can we find anyone like this man? A man in whom he is the spirit of God. They dislike you because you have refused to connect yourself with the spirit of God. No matter the curses, speak the word of him who is the who hold the seven spirit of God and the seven stars. Speak the word of wisdom. Speak the word of knowledge. Don't speak according to the pain that you are going through. Don't speak according to the fact that you can see with your eyes. Speak the word of him. Who hold the seven stars in his right hand. Who walk among the seven God and Amsterdam. Pray that the wisdom of God is guiding you, is pushing you, is moving you everywhere. And then, what will happen? Every overcomer, when you speak this word, you are already overcoming some kind of situation. And God, God in heaven say, I will give you power to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. You must overcome something to be successful. You cannot just say, well, I'm not born lucky. 
<laughs> yeah, I have nobody to help me. No. Family, you can't change the way of speaking. When you speak well, you speak the mind of God, things will go well with you. Amen. Amen. Good. For today, we will stop there. Hallelujah. We will continue how to overcome the world like Jesus next Sunday. I believe the Lord will give us access to finish all. Yet, we have Shiloh coming. Shiloh 2021. I thought you would clap your hand for that. Why Shiloh? The Lord continued to appear at Shiloh, and there he revealed himself to Samuel through his word. This world, we speak a lot in the world, but what kind of way are we speaking? Here, the Lord continued to appear at Shiloh. He did not stop appearing at Shiloh. He revealed himself to Samuel through his word. We have seven days of prayer and fasting during Shiloh. The Lord will tell you what to do in the year 2022. It is possible for God to use that Shiloh to turn your situation around. Anna will never get somewhere unless he went to Shiloh and prayed. Shiloh is a place of sacrifice where we will sacrifice on the feet of the Lord. We will sacrifice our time. We will cry to God. Not only for our selfish desire, but also for the things that is going on around the world in South Africa. I heard him saying from the book of Jeremiah, Pray in the city. Pray for the city you are living. If it prosper, you too, you will prosper. But if the city you are living is in trouble, you also, you will be in trouble. That is one of our duty during Shiloh. We must make sure that it is well with you. It is well with the land. Then we will experience countless blessings from the throne of God. Please close your eyes by your head. You are here, you say, well, I want to be a problem solver. I used to have good dreams. When I have this dream, it will always come to pass. But now I'm having bad dreams and those bad things are also are coming to pass. Is that the spirit of God? I will tell you, you are deceived unless you are born again. If you are not born again, familiar spirit will keep on you tormenting your mind, torturing your mind. But if you are confident that you are a child of God, you are born again, God will fix those dreams. I'm tired of hearing from people, I have this demon in my dream. No, I want you to come and say, I saw this angel and your life is changing. Close your eyes by your head. You want Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. He's the Alpha and Omega. Before your problem started, he was there. And this is the time to connect to him. I will not ask you to raise your hand. I will ask you to take your right hand and put it on your chest. And say this with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. Please forgive all my sin. Come into my heart. Save my life. Write my name in the book of eternal life. As from today, I'm born into the family of God. I'm born again. Amen. Beautiful. 